that. If I'd have bent over, I'd have puked. Esco, you drunk! Get out here! Esco! 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 Chop, chop! Hey, you hear that? Sounded like panting. A uh, wounded wyvern. Damn it. Think he, think he hurt himself. What's one scar more or less in his case? Makes no difference, as I see. Uh huh. Eskel's close. Hang in there, brother. We're coming. Eskel, chop, chop. Hey, look. There he is. With his ever faithful little bleeder. Hello, Esco. Wake up. Uh, what? Uh, what happened? Got sloshed, stewed, and 57 other varieties of drunk. That's what happened. Get up. Time to have a drink. Leave me alone. I'm gonna puke. Three of us get together, always ends like this. Let's find a fourth. Better. A woman. Nothing here but Yen. Oh, we don't want to wake her up, believe me. What about that sorceress you talked to? Think about it. We turn on the megascope, cordially invite her, she teleports here. Maybe bring some friends. How's that sound? Lambert, I believe you've had your last drink. You're just jealous you didn't think of it first, but is that any reason to spoil it for us? I don't have the strength to argue. Of course you don't, cream puff. Bet I could take you with one finger. Hey, relax, Lambert. Wanna fight? Huh? Wanna? Come on! Good night. See everyone's up and at him. Hmm. And reeking of booze. That hat was a memento, Lambert. Relax, old man. It'll come out in the wash. You can give the boys a rap on the knuckles later. Let's get to work. Guess your gravestone and hemlock method didn't work. Not entirely. But I did learn something. While you were out hunting fork tails and playing with a megascope, I examined Uma. Notice one thing. At moments of, what's the term, uh, relaxed consciousness, he behaves differently. While falling asleep, he'd pause awake for an instant. Something different about his movements, his gaze then, but only for a moment. So I induced a trance, hypnotized him essentially. No effect at first. But as he dropped into deep lethargy, I heard something. A sigh or a moan. And it wasn't Uma's voice. All right. I just don't get how that helps us. Then keep silent. Thank you, Vesemir. And I apologize for what I said earlier. Have the boys told you what we plan to do? Yes. Don't like it one bit. But I suppose I have to trust you. 
Thought we got rid of that table ages ago. Uh, must be 50 years since I last saw Sad Albert. Couldn't bear to part with it. Thought we might find a use for it one day. You know how old people are. Sure. Every grandpa out there's got an attic full of torture devices. Right. So what now? We can begin. We need only brew the potions. Wait. Why couldn't we... Do it earlier? Because the preparatory potions for the trial are strongly reactive. They must be administered immediately after they're brewed. Satisfied? Geralt, make the potions. Here are the formulae. Eskel, take a bottle of spirit. Uh, no. After last night, I... And disinfect the tools. Well, chop chop. You don't know who's trapped in Uma's body. How did you figure the proportions? Performed a series of complex calculations. Extrapolated some data. Found simulations. Meaning you guessed. Mm. Potions ready. Tools, too. Good. Vesemir? Hookweed extract to deaden the pain. I know. Done this before. Eskel, make the incisions in his veins. Insert the tubes. Geralt, place the potion vials in the feeders. Ready. Open the valves. It doesn't matter in which order. The hook we'd work? If it hadn't, the pain would have sent him into shock. Killed him. So, everything's going smoothly? No. But it's within known norms. Administer the next potion. I had hoped... I had hoped I would never have to watch this again. Why'd you keep the table then? Geralt, next potion. to do their work. Might take a day. Might take more. You need only wait. True. But I must maintain the stabilizing spell. Uma's body is not nearly as resilient as a young candidate witch's. Without this, he... <laughs> Eskel, I'm sorry. Would you mind? Getting some rags? On it. Vomit off the floor? No. A trial. If that's Siri in there, she could come out of this crippled, wrong in the head, just emotionless. 
thought about that. I trust Yen. She knows what she's doing. Don't doubt that. But do we know what she's doing? She tell you how likely this is to work? Gentlemen, the floor's as clean as it'll ever be. And I need to be wiped down as well. No offense, but I'd rather Geralt did it. Understood. I'd prefer that too. body is disintegrating from the inside. Once that's complete, we'll need to reform it, or he'll die. You witches were given mutagens. We will use spells. Hey, Yen, you're dozing off. No, I'm just arresting my eyes. Yeah, it's called sleeping. Then do something to keep me awake. Pinching's apparently effective. Later, perhaps. For now, talk to me. Tell me a story. Heard about the time Siri and I went ice skating? No, not that I recall. The winter she trained here. A couple months in, she started complaining I was too harsh a teacher. Brushed it off at first, then she asked me to go skating with her. Didn't really want to. I'd never been before. As we hit the ice, she started skating circles around me, hollering, No, not like that. Footwork. One, then the other. Crossover. No, wrong. Break with the heel of your skate, not the toes. Needless to say, from then on... He's awake. It's time. Time to lift the curse. Prepare the phylactery. it want from Siri? Her blood. Elder blood. To open the gate. We cannot... We cannot allow this. Isle of Mists. Where is it? Everywhere. And nowhere. Listen, Sage. We didn't lift that curse to play riddles with you. 
Arwen. Arwen. Sram. And Skellige. Follow it into the mists. Hurry. Hurry. I tried to protect her. But the curse. The hunt has not found the isle as yet. It is a matter of time. They will detect her at once. Enough, Geralt. He's not yet free of death's grip. Is he gonna make it? I can't. No. You saw. Not all went as planned. I lifted the curse, but... The trial has wrought havoc in his body. Violently twitching fingers, pupils that don't react to the light. Seen it many times before. Too many. Toxins have permanently damaged his nervous system. Even if he does pull through... Do you understand? I'm going to get Siri. Hold up. Don't you think you owe us some answers? How do you know this, Avalok? What's Siri been doing with him? Yennefer can tell you. Just keep an eye on him. He's not a friend. Perhaps not, but Siri apparently trusted him. We should at least take his words seriously. You heard what he said. Take Siri from that Isle of Mists, and the hunt will pick up her trail immediately. What then? What's your suggestion? Siri can't flee forever. One day she'll stumble. She won't get a second chance. Time we, the hunted, became the hunters. Geralt will find Ciri and bring her here. And the hunt will follow. They'll expect to catch us by surprise, and they'll be sorely disappointed. We plan to fight them. We five? In a crumbling castle? Do we have a choice? Besides delaying the inevitable? Pretty boy could try to round up a few others who know how to swing a sword. Or wield magic. Fine. I'll get Siri and recruit some allies. Bring everyone here. Got a few favors I can call in. Any good-looking women in that batch? Mm-hmm. Exclusively. And you? What do you plan to do? I've Avala to care for. He's certain to die without gentle, gradual magic treatment. There's hope if I help him. Not much, but better than naught. The boys and I'll consider how we should greet our uninvited guests. All right. Time I was on my way. Good luck, Wolf. And give Cirilla our love. Come back quickly, Geralt. <laughs>